Welcome back, Masketeers. Thank you so much for joining me today. I am Christina Kay. We are showcasing more collection and declutter videos. This one's not going to have any declutters today because this is mainly shoes I've painted. They're all custom Disney shoes. There's a couple in here that someone else painted for me many, many moons ago, but most of these I have painted and I haven't shown them in a while, so I figured you got to sit through my art today. Okay, <laughs> if you notice, the shelves behind me are all kind of empty because that's where I keep a lot of them on display. I've worked hard on some of these and I wanna showcase them and I'm gonna showcase them today. So enough rambling, let's talk about my custom Disney shoes. I also want to go back and re-declutter some of the things I've already started to this year. I'm on a major spring cleaning kick and we're gonna keep it going. We're gonna go kind of all over the place here. Some of these, like I said, I painted, some were painted for me. This was painted by somebody else. This was probably the first pair of custom shoes I ever got, and I actually bought these Roxy shoes at uh, Boutique in the Polynesian. And then she did like a whole Be Our Guest thing for them, which Beauty and the Beast is my favorite movie. So we've got this Lumiere. If this doesn't scream Mickey's Fill Her Magic, right? <laughs> what does? And these actually are really comfortable shoes. That's the problem with some of the custom ones. They're not so comfortable. And it continues around and we've got like the prince's hands, Prince Adam. So these were a sage color shoe and then she painted them blue. Now with her shoes, she does a little bit more shadowing than I do. I'm very, very new to this still. And then we got the beast hands. So these are my Roxy be our guest shoes. She also painted these for me. These are soda shoes, which you can usually like find for pretty cheap on eBay. Never been, you know, worn before. And then they're easy to paint because I like a canvas shoe to paint on. So she also painted this for me. Like she did such a great job with the shadowing. This is my little mermaid pair. The only thing I don't like about these is it's black on black. I wish that was white on the bottom. Look at all that detailing that she put on there. See, I don't really, I don't know how to shadow yet. Oh, the poopsies. This I have to learn. And then we have Ursula on the other one. Ursula is one of my favorite villains. Yeah, this is kind of inspiring me to learn how to shadow a little bit with paint. So these are a really cool pair. I might as well just finish with the other two that she painted for me, right? These are also soda shoes that I actually put an inner sole in for. This is like my Disneyland Fantasyland pair. So it says, don't just fly with Peter Pan. Peter Pan's flight is my favorite attraction. She even put a hidden Mickey in the clouds. Like how cool is that? And it's like glossy kind of spray over it, which is really cool. What is on the bottom? See, the one problem with the soda shoes is they start to peel apart after a while. There they are. That one says, don't just fly. And this one says, soar with Dumbo. She really nailed these shoes big time. So that's my like fantasy land pair that I usually will wear in Disneyland. I used to have a Disney podcast, which I'm working on bringing another one uh, soon, hopefully. And it was called Mouseketeer Radio. And you guys know from my videos, I always end it with, I'm Christina K. have a Disney day. So that started on Mouseketeer Radio. So on these shoes, we have have a Disney day and then the logo. So have a Disney day in the Disney font, just like polka dots. And I love, I love these shoes so much on air because i am on air <laughs> i do work in radio and then this one was the actual mouseketeer radio logo that someone had created for me with the mickey and everything and then it says christina k's mouseketeer radio even the times that it used to air that's so funny and then headphones. So this is like the best of both worlds for me, radio and Disney. And I've worn these when I've done my radio show live from Disney before too. Okay, I think that's the only ones. Oh wait, she made it one. She halfed it, this one. I was goofy quite a few years ago for Halloween. There was eight of us. So we did like the Fab Eight and naturally I was goofy. So we have a pair of goofy shoes that he actually signed. At, I think it was Chef Mickey's he signed it for me. And it's got the Goofy hat on the back and then Goofy on the front and Gorsh. 
and I wanted brown shoes. Again, these are soda shoes um, because of the outfit and he wears brown boots. Okay, the rest I made. I don't even know why I still have these. This was the first pair I made and I promise you they get better. When I did the Toy Story Land broadcast, we all wore Toy Story Vans the whole entire trip and our feet were killing us. And that's what inspired me to start painting my own shoes. And I tried these on a whim. So they definitely get better, I promise. These were my Toy Story pair. <laughs> so I was just trying to get used to like how it was to paint. Now these are also soda shoes, but these have cushions, which I highly recommend. So my Mr. Potato Head ain't great, <laughs> but he's there. And for me, this was trying to feel like what kind of paints worked, like how do I like draw on. Um, this part came out pretty good because I had to paint the background for the clouds and put Andy on it. So that I was pretty proud of. And then I've got my alien, which I needed to see about outlining, which I've now gotten down pat. <laughs> and then the same on the back here, Andy with the clouds. So these were my prototype. I don't know if I've ever actually worn them, but they're my first pair, so I gotta keep them. Now I'll be honest with you, I have a whole closet full of projects that I'm currently working on. So probably like in a year, I'll show you all of those, but I have about 20 blank pairs of shoes and then about three that I started that I have not finished yet. So I got some holiday shoes too. Again, these are all like ones when I was first starting off. So I've got some Christmas ones. Again, they're cushion soda shoes. So we've got a Mickey snowman and there's like Mickey ears on his scarf. And then I kept it really simple on the side. It just says snowway. I think I did these like when I was really sick. And then I have a Mickey gingerbread. And then it says, oh snap. So they were just very, very simple. I think I had just gotten Sharpies. At, no, maybe not even. I'm not sure. But I, these were like my first and only holiday pair, but I would love to make another one because I've come a very long way. I think I made these in 2018. And then I also have a Halloween pair, which I've worn quite a few times. Um, I wanted to do a goofy skeleton, but I just didn't have the time to do it. So I have the Mickey candy corn and Mickey pumpkins. And I just kept the design on the front here. And then this one, this is my favorite one. It's got the Mickey ghost, but it's got Mickey bats that says boo to you and you and you and you. Happy Halloween. <laughs> so I wear these a lot during Halloween. These are Toms. This is when I started painting on Toms, which are a little harder because they have like these ridges. So I've really had to perfect that over the years. The last time I went to Disneyland was 2019. Hopefully coming soon, stay tuned for details. And I made a Disneyland pair, which I actually got to wear these to the Walt Disney Studio. So I just have that classic castle that you see in the beginning of, you know, the videos and the Disneyland sign, the OG one, and the It's a Small World clock. I just wanted like a simple pair that would go with a lot, and these are actually quite comfortable because they are Toms. But yeah, I really love the way the Disneyland sign came out. That took a long time. The clock's a little wonky, but you know, they do the trick. I made these for my sister and they came out so much better on hers, but I had to make a pair for me too and I'm gonna be wearing them to Disney World coming soon. It's my three Caballeros pair. So we've got Donald and a sombrero. On my sister's shoes, they just, they look so much better. Her foot is so much tinier. <laughs> and then we've got Panchito and Jose. So three Caballeros. Again, these are Toms. These are soda shoes. I made these for, I wanna say my 30th birthday my yeah my sister and I wore like Tweedle dresses in the parks and I made us like Alice in Wonderland shoes so these are on uh, soda shoes so we'll start with a Tweedle this is when I discovered sharpies for outlining that's what this one was and we've got the Queen of Hearts Cheshire cat like if I shaded these I'm sure they would come out a lot better caterpillar these were hard too because they're white. It's hard to erase pencil marks. So you do a lot of it freehand. Mad Hatter, a teacup, March Hare, a teacup. I think I did teacups on the sides of hers. I did a lot of characters on this one, but that's my Alice in Wonderland pair. Would it be a collection video if I didn't forget? Yeah, um, these are my Marvel pair that I made for Comic-Con. So we've got Iron Man and Cap Shield. On this side, we have Molnir. These are also the cushion soda shoes. We have Loki's helmet and then Avengers. So I have actually met Tom Hiddleston wearing these and he loved them and also Paul Rudd. So I've got Cap Shield. I am Groot. 
the Marvel logo, which kind of wore off when I've worn them to the movie theater, and then the pin particle. Now, I didn't make these. The characters all signed these. I brought them to Disneyland the first time my family went. I had gone by myself once before, but the first time they went, I knew we were going to see a lot of characters, so I thought this would be a really fun memento for that trip. So we've got a bunch of characters. I love that Oswald's on here. We saw so many that trip. So that's a really good idea uh, for a good souvenir. And then if you just spray them, nothing will happen. And I've worn these a ton. I mean, Slick, that's back when a Bugs Land was a thing. Minnie, Donald. Yeah, I love them. I keep finding shoes. So I made an Incredibles pair when I met Edna Mode. These are a very simple pair. So it's got the Edna logo. These are the soda shoes again. On the back, it says no capes. And then the Incredibles logo on one shoe and then the mask on the other. This is the last pair that I painted and it's my favorite pair I've painted. And it's my Epcot shoes. I mean, Figment came out so great, I thought. <laughs> and I love this like light purple Tom. Yeah, there was a lot of coats on this guy. And then I made a monorail and nice work, pal. Name that attraction. It's Epcot. It's one of my most quoted things from a Disney park. <laughs> so yeah, I've got my Epcot shoes. I wear these probably my most worn out of all the ones I've painted, and now I have Sharpie ones. The reason why I Sharpied these is because they're on a different kind of canvas shoe and the paint was gonna bleed through. So I got like fine tip Sharpies and that's what I've been working with the past year. I made these when I did the cruise. I still can't believe I've done a Disney cruise um, and I had to make a pair of shoes and I made Goofy and Donald because that's me and my sister and we went on the cruise. So we've got um, Goofy which this was hard because I had to, you know, play around with flesh color markers. So that's the only thing that's a marker on here. The rest is Sharpie. And then Donald. So I wore these every day on the cruise. These were so comfortable. These are Keds. Now, I also got the same kind of Keds for a most recent pair that I created, but these for some reason were not very comfortable. And it's for when I met Powerline. So we've got Max's power line. That's who I met, Max's power line. And then Goofy, who I really think the Goofy side came out better, in my opinion. And they loved them so much, which made it so worth it. Um, so yeah. Okay, those are my custom Disney shoes. I have a lot of Vans and Toms and like shoes from the parks too that I'll probably do in a separate video. I've been trying to not make really long videos <laughs> because I feel like Attention spans are so short these days, so I wanted to divide it up. Custom shoes for those who wanted to see custom, and if you want to see the other shoes, that will be coming soon. I originally wanted to film ears today. Now that, I will warn you now, that is going to be a long video. I don't know how much decluttering I'll do there. I'll just showcase my collection, but I didn't want to, I didn't have the time to do it today, I'll be honest. <laughs> so I wanted to do these. Um, I think we're going to get to dresses, like my Disney dresses, because I have to declutter that big time. What else? Um, there's a lot on the way. I've recently done spirit jerseys. Yes, I did declutter some. Um, wallets, which I didn't really declutter anything. So I think I need to go back and revisit that. I will be showing lounge fly backpacks on the way, but anything I've done so far this year will be in the description box below. Please subscribe because more is coming your way. I'm headed to Walt Disney World like really soon. I'm looking at a pack and pile right now. That's how soon we're leaving. Um, I have other broadcasts coming up. Thank you guys so much for watching my Cancun video. That was an amazing trip. I want to do a question and answer video. So if you have any questions, please send them my way. You can either leave them in the comments below. You can DM me on Instagram. Can you DM me here? I probably should look into that. If you can, try it. We'll figure it out together. <laughs> um, but I am so very grateful for each and every one of you um, for joining me today, for always leaving comments, little likes, and watching all of my videos. It means more than you will ever know. I will talk to you really soon. Hope you're doing well. I am Christina Kay. Have a Disney day.